Good morning. I need to replace this brake light switch, which is on top of the brake pedal box. Here's a close-up look at it. And basically, this little button on the bottom, it doesn't have a lot of distance to go, but it screws in and it's got an adjustment screw here to tighten it up. And the depth of the switch actually um, will control how, how far a distance this button has to go when you pr press down on the brake pedal. And these things are very finicky. The one in there now is identical, but it doesn't work. Um, it goes on and stays on, or it doesn't come on until you adjust it deeper, and then when you adjust it deeper, the brake lights stay on. Apparently these are very finicky, and the whole system, in my opinion, of the brake light switch on top of the brake, bo uh, brake uh, pedal box it doesn't make sense. As there's, a, there's a metal lever that pushes up on the brake light switch when the pedal is pushed down. Um, I think it's overcomplicated. This is a 1970 Series 2A. Um, I'm going to hope this works just so I can drive the car, um, but we'll see. So that's what I'm going to do right now. You can see the brake light switch and the retaining nut, and uh, you can see it looks with the wires sticking out of the top. So first I'm just simply removing the two wires, and on this it doesn't matter which direction the wires are going, what the polarity is, it doesn't matter for this particular switch. So you just loosen the retaining nut. Like that. And then unscrew it. Here's the old one. And this top piece here, this is loose right here. This is a little bit loose. You can see it moving slightly. That's not good. Here's the new one. I'm just putting it right back in. And the way to do this is to screw it all the way down until the brake lights actually come on and then uh, back it off and then start testing the brakes with it. So that's what I'm going to do. By setting up the camera on selfie mode, with part of the screen focused on the brake light, I can actually look back and look at the camera and see when the brake light's coming on. So that's what I'm going to do. So It's very important to be super careful removing these leads, because I think that's what actually causes the brake light switch to malfunction is when you try to turn this with the leads um, still intact it puts a twist on this top piece and I think that's what breaks the connection. If I just connect the switch you can see the brake lights coming on. That works. Now what I'm going to do is Screw down the brake light switch till I feel it making contact. Let's come on. Which they do. And then I'm going to slowly back it off. One half turn. Put the leads back on. lights are coming on. So there you go and it's consistent. Press down, brake lights on, off, on, off. My brake lights are good. Now all I need to do is tighten that retaining screw again. 
again, it's a 15 millimeter wrench. And just to be sure, test it again, now that it's tight. Yeah, brake lights are good. So that's a replacement of the electronic brake light switch.